Mayor Miller's huge tax hike was not approved. It was a good idea in theory, he just went too far. Tax on beer? No. Unacceptable. But if taxes on vehicles and licenses don't go up and the Shepherd subway line goes down, our leaders are making a clear statement to transit users and the environment. We are going to take a step backwards and cram our gas pedal foot right up your asses. Rob Ford claimed his suggestions for budgeting could save $100 million and avoid that tax hike altogether. Some suggestions were not giving out up to three bottles of wine a day to homeless people and not giving city staff free passes for city-owned golf courses. He would then use that money to enter the World Series of Poker. When asked what if he loses, he told reporters that he had bought sunglasses so the other players can't see his eyes. Also adding that he has a better poker face than Alexander Keith. Buying knockoff designer clothes, bootleg DVDs, or even a marijuana joint from a street dealer may directly be killing the people in our streets. Bill Blair, head of the Toronto Police, wants us to understand that by buying these things, we could be directly supporting the criminals who shoot people. Or the criminals who tell people who shoot people to shoot people. Either way, people are getting shot because you can't pay $10 to go see The Simpsons in the theater. Constable Justin Harris. The BC officer who is accused of buying sex from underage prostitutes is being reinstalled due to the star witness dying. So watch out for Justin Harris, seriously. His job is to perv and molest. Tornado touchdowns have been reported in southern Ontario recently, prompting me to now offer Neil Knightley tornado insurance. If you would like to purchase Neil Knightley, to, to, nah, if you would like to purchase Neil Knightley tornado insurance, please send all of your money to the address on your screen. If you would like more information, call the number below and one of our representatives will be happy to help you give me all of your money. Use it or lose it. It's a popular headline in Canadian papers these days. I thought they were talking about my sex life being barren and cold, but as I read on, I found that it was about protecting the sovereignty of our Arctic regions of our country. In response to this legitimately serious problem, Stephen Harper has bought up to eight ships to patrol our northern waters, none of which can break ice. Kind of like when I take eight guys out in the town with me and none of them can break any ice either. Useless. The favorite five on my cell phone is nothing but guys. Hey, actually, can we, can we edit that last one out? Uh, it was kind of desperate. No? Fine. Fine. Uh, stay tuned for more segments of Neil Knightley. We have Canadian heroes and we hit the streets with Talia Russo. What are they doing? They're trying to see who's got the last spot on Neil's Faith Five. Oh! Oh! I'm the fifth best! Oh! He's dead! Oh! Oh! oh. You really want this guy in Faith Five? He's stabbing! Nicely played! He's How do you spell your last name?